awesome. Holy okay. cow, Aaron. How long have you been golfing? Not very, well, off and on. I started okay. as a teenager, yeah. but just started in the last few years, really what starting to enjoy it. What brought you back to it? You know what? I think I, it's my family time in the summers. My parents live on a golf course. Nice. We all, it's accessible yep. when we're in a small town and stuff. I find in the city is really when I golf the least okay. because it's it, the public courses are busy and that sort of thing. Yep. So when I'm on holidays, I love it. You love it's, it. I love it. Wow. Well, I, I bet you also love it because you hit awesome <laughs> golf shots. That's fantastic. Thanks, thanks. So you've got a lot of power. That last uh, drive, mm -hmm. you pulled it. Yes. So for a right-handed golfer, that's when the ball goes left. Right. And of course, for a lefty, that's when it goes yes. right. You have so much power. So what, what's happening is this. May I pop in for Absolutely. a second? Okay. So you made, a, your posture is awesome. You made this beautiful turn. So what creates distance is the ability to make a turn. Mm -hmm. Actually, 80% of women can't hit it over 200 yards. Okay. And the reason is this. Typically, women are arms lifters. And okay. if you took a picture at the top of my backswing, you'd be like, heck, that's a nice backswing. Yeah. When in fact, I haven't turned at all. Right, okay. So when women lack distance, often they lift their arms and all they can do is drop their arms. Okay. Now the ball will go straight, but there's not a lot of power. Okay. Now, Aaron, that's not your problem. You okay. make a great turn. So what creates distance for men or women is making a good turn. So getting that lead shoulder under your chin, getting your back to the target, chest behind you, whatever it is that makes you turn. So you were awesome up to here. Okay. Now when you pull it, like you did right there, mm -hmm. when you got to the top of your backswing, your first move in your downswing was your upper body. So that okay. back shoulder yeah. was the first thing that started your swing. Okay. And then what happens is it outraces your body and you pulled it to the, to, to the left as a right-handed golfer. Okay. So what I need you to do, this creates power, coil and torque. If you start your downswing with your upper body, you've lost all the power, coil, and torque you built up. Okay. So you want to think, if, if this is the top half of your body and this is the lower half, wind up with the top, unwind with the bottom. Okay. Turn the lead hip, turn the lead pocket, turn your belt buckle, whatever it is that gets it turning. Okay. Another simple swing that, turn your shirt in your backswing, turn your pants in your downswing. <sighs> So anytime I pull it, when I get to the top of my backswing, all I think is fire that lead hip, fire the pocket, or turn the guts. Okay. So let's do one more, okay. and I want to see you get to the top of your backswing and get those guts turning. Okay. Okay. Yep, need, uh, turn the shirt, turn the pants. Shoot. Pause. Oh, we need one more tee? Perfect. <laughs> Woo. All right, on, here we okay. go. Do everything the same though. Awesome posture, awesome turn, okay. but start that downswing with that lead hip or, or your guts. Okay. No. Let's do it one more time. Do one more. Yeah. When you I have, actually I get, lifted my as head. As I just up. said to Emily, is that as soon as you get a new swing thought, it takes a couple just to get used to it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. So what you're going to try is just to try to turn the, turn that lower body in the downswing. Okay. Oh, crushed. Absolutely okay. crushed. You did it. You Great. got it here. And then that was your first move. Awesome, Aaron. That's Lisa. really going to help. Yay! That's, you know, when you hit good shots, it brings you back it into does. the game. And all of a sudden, you start hitting more good shots every time. You start exactly. hitting more. All of a sudden, you start hitting more good shots than yeah. bad shots. Absolutely. And then it starts to be a fun game. Absolutely. And it's, when you hit shots like that, it becomes Kind of a fun, fun game. <laughs> Lisa, we can't thank you enough for hanging out with us today. What's the one thing you want to tell those women out there that are a little apprehensive about getting out on the golf course? Oh, you know what, ladies? Find a friend. I find it's a little bit easier if you find a friend to get out there. I think that makes it more comfortable. And just go out. Go to the driving range. Start at a driving range. Uh, hit a bucket mm -hmm. of balls. Just have some fun. All you're trying to do, brush the grass. The first thing right. all I need you to do is think of brush the grass or brush the tee. Get out there and, and have fun. Join a ladies league. That's another great way Perfect. for new newcomers to kind of feel comfortable and be surrounded by other women uh, who just love the game. Awesome. Great time out here. Thanks to the folks from Golf Canada Centre. We've had an absolutely fabulous time. We're going to see you next time on Go.